everyone, and I am at Contropolis today. And so I'm going to be interviewing some people, not just people actually, voice actors. So I'm going to just see what I can do. Uh, my name is Alana. Alana, I'm Tyler, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, is it okay if I can ask you a few questions? Sure, yeah. Alrighty, um, so how did you become a writer? Um, well, um, I always enjoyed writing and literature and plays and stuff throughout, you know, growing up and in high school and college. I was an English minor and a radio, television, film broadcasting major. Um, so there was always some writing there. Um, I started uh, working for Funimation, uh, doing sound recording uh, back in 2002. And um, after being in the booth, uh, I started to direct for a while. So then I was a director. I would direct the, the actors, and then the opportunity came to also write scripts. And so um, I started writing scripts too. So uh, I just kind of got a good uh, opportunity. I was in the right place at the right time where I could do pretty much whatever I was interested in. I was, you know, I would make it known, right? To let somebody know I was interested in doing it, and then uh, try to convince them that I should be doing it. So. You know, that is really wonderful because you kind of like started from the bottom and then kind of kept working your way up top. Yeah, yeah. So that's really wonderful. Um, and my second question is, did you have some like struggle times? Like, did you have sometimes have struggles being director, hard times? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, you know, um, we're all, you know, human beings. Everyone's got stuff that happens or like maybe a lot's going on in your life or you're not feeling uh, inspired. Uh, the good thing about working in a uh, creative, co collaborative environment, uh, working with the actors and working with uh, your, your, your production crew, and of course with the material that we get from the, uh, the uh, Japanese creators, the animators, all that stuff, it's pretty easy to, to get re-inspired or to, um, to have other people there to help you whenever you're personally, you know, not at 100%. So working in a collaborative environment is very helpful like that. And then forging good relationships with the people that you work with and, you know, so. Um, but yeah, of course, I mean, I've been, doing, I've been in the business for now for 20 years and it's been 17 wonderful years. That's really wonderful <laughs> and long too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so my final question is out of all the animes you have directed, script mm -hmm. writing, which one did you either like the most or or that you found like hilariously funny at moments? Uh, well, of course, you know, I've got them here repping Fairy Tale, uh, which I ended up working on all 300 and I want to say 335 episodes and uh, both movies. Um, and so, and you know, I met the creator and so you know, a lot of memories of that special place in my heart. Um, and the one that makes me laugh, though, is this show called Ninja Slayer, which is just the dumbest thing that I've ever worked on. And uh, so it's fun, you know, it's sometimes just a just a goof off. But, you know, Fairy Tale has a big place in my heart. And there's several others, you know, over the years, you, you know, you get to, you know, I'm in a, I'm in, I'm lucky that I'm in a field that you can find a lot of things that you can be interested in and like about a certain show, whether it's, you know, the way that they weave their, um, the story, the way they move the action, the crazy characters, the deep philosophical questions, or just sometimes the dumb stuff. And so, uh, it's good when you get a show that has all of that, but, you know, I've gotten, uh, luck so lucky to work on such a wide variety of projects, so, you're never bored. Yeah. Thank you so much, and that's really wonderful. Well, thank Th you. Thank you for your time. All right, of course.